Oh, net positive, baby. What's up? It's John Chris solo episode. Actually, not solo episode, but I am in uh, New York City. I just did some, um, let's see, some uh, media, some appearances. So on Good Morning America this morning. I don't want to brag, but uh, that's probably where you guys know me from. Just kidding. That's a joke we get into at the podcast. Uh, but I'm up in, what city is this? You call this Brooklyn? Manhattan. I'm in Manhattan. Oh, yeah. So, yeah so one of the, uh, I'm in Manhattan. Uh, Ryan Long, a uh, good buddy of mine that we've uh, podcasted a bit together. I said, uh, dude, how about I come to your studio? We'll do the pod. You can be the guest. And uh, we worked it out. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, this is the boys cast, uh, Ryan's podcast, which is unbelievable, by the way. Check it out. Uh, it, we This is, in fact, not the boys pod, but this is net positive. I'm trying to think of what episode we're on. 96, maybe. Uh, 97. I'll be here in New York City uh, all week. And we've still going strong, baby. Never missed an episode of the podcast, baby. Let's go. Uh, this week is no different. Tour dates. Let's see. I'm going from here to Detroit, Michigan, uh, March 3rd, or sorry, March uh, 7th and 8th. Fort Wayne sold out. Peoria, Buffalo, Toronto, Erie, Durham, Macon, Chattanooga, Rochester, St. Paul, Duluth, San Jose, Santa Rosa, Redding, California, Dayton, Ohio, Lexington, two shows there, Lincoln, Nebraska, Des Moines. Grand Forks, Charleston, Baltimore, Newark, New Haven, Connecticut, Portland, Tacoma, and Spokane, Washington, baby. Come through. Come see a show. Uh, thrilled to have Ryan on the on the episode today. This was fun uh, to make happen. We uh, I just looked back through my DMs because I was trying to figure out uh, when I first came in touch with Ryan's comedy, and it was... Um, August 11th, 2020. And I said, just all around top notch, man. Excellent work. He must have done a video that I thought was hilarious. I think my my uh, brother-in-law, Eli, actually sent me one of Ryan's videos, and I thought it was uh, unbelievable. And we've been buddies ever since. I, I think I tried to get him in a couple sketches of mine, and uh, he said no. So uh, <laughs> actually, <laughs> no, that's, dude, I said, dude, listen to this. I said, Ryan's not on mic, by the way, but he's sitting right here. Uh, you said, buddy, thank you so very much. Coming from you, that means a lot. Okay? There you go. Immediately, I followed. Bro, I want to send you a script I wrote for a sketch. I'd fly you down to Nashville next week to film it if you want. What's your sell? Just immediately to the sales pitch, dude. What did I say? You said, no, dude, I'm not doing it. Or I, I don't know. No. no, you didn't say no. I said, yo, man, here's my sell. Let me know. I don't know what the sketch was. Oh, I think we talked on the phone. I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, but been a bit of, big fan of uh, Ryan for a long time. Seen his stand up. Uh, uh, go follow uh, Ryan. You'll see uh, all his tour dates. He's touring all around just like me. We actually got the chance to meet up in uh, Pittsburgh two weekends ago. Fellow ships in the night. That's what most comedians are. They see him in your city. And you're like, oh, dude, what's up? Uh, this week's episode brought to you by Stamps. Dot com, maybe a year full, a year, sorry, a year is full of surprises, but one thing is unpredictable. Postage cost will go up again in 2024. Stamps.com gives you a crazy discount. They're up to 89% off USPS and UPS services. Oh, your business will barely notice the change. Stamps.com has been helping businesses like yours save time and money for over 25 years your own postal service wherever you are with stamps.com all you need is a computer and a printer mine's actually broken right now but uh, i'm gonna get it fixed they even saying send you a free scale so you have everything you need to start shipping orders and making money baby if you sell products online stamps.com seamlessly connects with every major marketplace and shopping cart that is uh super important take a chunk out of your mail and shipping costs this year with stamps.com i in, i started my entire business on stamps.com my first uh comedy special in 2016 i believe um i sound out i sent out hundreds of dvds and i addressed them all myself to stamps.com uh, sign up with promo code net positive for a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com and click the microphone on the top of the page and enter net positive. It's a positive.
Let's start it up. Let's go. Uh, net positive. This is episode 90. I want to say 97. What if I was episode 100 in here? Uh, Whoa! I think it's episode 96, 97. We are on the road, baby. Uh, I was just on Good Morning America and a bunch of different uh, news outlets this morning. And my good buddy Ryan Long, uh, that I've been on this pod before. You've been on this uh, pod. Big, big honor. Fan. Big fan of his uh, comedy and his uh, videos. And uh, I was like, well, dude, let me just come by your pod studio and I'll do my pod. You'll be the guest. On my Have you ever been a guest in your own studio? No, Danny did it once, though. Yeah. He was on Chris Williamson's pod here. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't know that they were doing it. And I just saw it on the internet. And it like t I no. took me by storm. Oh, what is this? I was just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> what the well, we're just we're just saying that all the uh, like all the big media hits are going to Fox and Friends, Good Morning America, the Sherry Shepherd show, like all these shows. And you're like, why are you doing that? That is that is the question. And I was like, it's a good point because you're like away from your home and your family and your friends and your the stuff you want. to And do. it's at nine. And I'm like in staying in like the West End or something like yeah small flex. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, why? It's like I feel like it's kind of like, you know who Zach Bryan is? No, he's a country artist. He's yes, like, I've heard he, of him. Never done it. Never done anything. Yeah, a lot of these country guys. Bro, are never done an interview. Well, th with music, it adds the mystique. Yeah, dude. I feel like with comedy, if you're like someone who talks for a living, your mystique's yeah. gone. Yeah, give that up. <laughs> yeah, 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 you yeah, don't yeah. have any mystique. No, don't try to be you're mysterious. Like, who knows what I think? Anyway, yeah. here's me saying it for an hour every day. <laughs> so that's already over. Yeah. So, but they, yeah. for yeah, me, it's just I just don't find that they ever help me that much. I don't feel like, like I sell tickets. I don't feel like they go look at my stuff. I also run it, no. and so do you, but to some degree, but maybe more, maybe more mainstream stuff. But I run an internet business, I guess, so right? I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you're just so like, yeah. well, so why do I care what people on who watch television think? There, it's like like somebody told me it's like uh, going from if you're big on the internet, it's like being big in the '90s, being big on TV. And they're like, dude, we got a radio opportunity. <laughs> yeah, it's like going yeah, yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. You're like, why would I do that? Like, go if you you can make a video that make a million people see it. Like, the TV doesn't get that. Yeah, not even close. It depends if you not see even... it like that old fashioned ladder where you're just like, okay, here's the lowest podcast. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, scum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe you want to climb your way up. <laughs> yeah, one yeah, over yeah. that is you have this, like yeah. stand up specials a little better, oh, and yeah. then you're kind of like one above that. To try to get up. You know, yeah, 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 you're maybe like a host on TV, and then you have your own What's... TV show, and then above that, you're like I'm in the movies. Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> you, like you, to yeah, me, I don't really up. see it like that. You're like I'm not really. Yes, yeah, so you're like. Well, it's like maybe like. Uh, dating girls in high school yeah you gotta like start work your way up <laughs> <laughs> start with no, guys you then gotta, you work you your gotta way start up. turning some girls down <laughs> yeah. before you're gonna get the cheerleaders or whatever i don't know that's i think it does at, at some point yeah. it does make sense to in any sort of life to just be have some sort of idea of where you're trying to go yeah so then you're just because if you're just going not, everywhere yeah. then what are you doing it's not gonna help us yeah, yeah you're just, you oh, go, if you're just like, I want a job, you're just like, maybe I'll apply at the rocket as a rocket scientist. Maybe yeah, I'll apply what? here. You're like, you don't have any sort of idea of the general direction to narrow so down you what go, your focus yeah, you should go, be done with. I'm trying to sell tickets. If that's the goal. If that's the goal, trying to sell tickets. Then or get you, people to listen to your podcast. Okay. Then it would be go on pods. Mm -hmm. Or they, like if, if you're trying to build an and internet And go business, in Times Square and yeah. have the tickets. Those are the yeah, other two. Like, hey, you want to go to a comedy show? Yeah. <laughs> I want to be in uh, Cleveland next weekend. Yeah, he's like, Flight's not included. You're throwing out tickets. You're like, wait, this isn't for Cleveland. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you that. You got to go there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, yeah, if you're, if you, your goal was to sell tickets, or if you go, if you have an internet business like we do, I, it's, it's so hilarious. That I should tell you, know, Lucy from Zanies. Yeah. So she, so I'm doing this like, uh, comedy i don't know what it is fundraiser or something like that and they always have my uh i am listed as atlanta-based online personality interesting so, at the comedy club mm -hmm. that's not good that's like if you're like a you're like trying a, out stand up getting yeah, some legs dang it dude <laughs> Have you ever gone into a club and they're like, oh, you do stand up? <laughs> no. Because you're. You do... <laughs> Me neither, dude. I've never walked into a st stand up comedy club. <laughs> no, but if they know you from the internet. But yeah, but even your, when you weren't popular from the internet, it was from stand up yeah, specials. Yeah, from stand up. Yeah, but not everybody is. No, that's definitely not. See, I don't see. I see acting as always. <laughs> and I came from music before comedy, right? 
Oh, yeah. Okay. okay, so I've never had this thing where I sort of think of, like, acting as some high thing. I think that oh, a lot like of comics it, oh, yeah, are right. like, oh, I'm entering show business, so the highest is, like, you're a movie that's star. The top, that's the top. Whereas to me, like, even when I was in bands and stuff like that, like, it wasn't like, oh, and then maybe one day I get to be an actor. Yeah, you were like... I didn't think acting was cool. I like stand-up comedy, so... I like doing stand-up comedy. Yeah, so yeah, I never yeah, thought, yeah. like, oh, maybe I could do stand-up, and then I get to be in a movie. Well, I kind of thought, like, making TV shows is cool. Like, you know, people do that, but... Yeah, I feel like if they go, hey, dude, you were you were awesome on Good Morning America. <laughs> we want to have... You're like, dang it. You could be back and be a regular. Yeah, you were like... Well, does it help me sell? Is it help me get the other thing? And they're like, no, it might help you get more of this. I mean, like, well, I, maybe like, one day you could be the guy. Jerry Seinfeld said the only like winning a comedy competition is the it's the only career on earth that they reward you with more work. <laughs> I guess I, they, what, I if, guess you could say if that. If you about, win you the know. Las Vegas comedy competition, they give you thirty weeks. <laughs> they do at clubs and like at like B list rooms all across the country. That's true. Yeah. If you if you win employee of the month at any other job, they're like you get Friday off. <laughs> I guess that's because it's awesome. I guess if you're you're really good as a uh, temporary professor, they award you with now you have to come do this every day. You got to come do it. Oh uh, yeah, you got to come do it more. If you're more part, if you're the only time if you're part time. <laughs> if you get to, you you get thirty you won the Las Vegas comedy competition, you get thirty weeks. You know what I was thinking about it's like every guy's hobby always gets called like if you're a comedy guy that's like you're a comedy bro like finance oh, yeah, guy yeah, finance yeah. bro finance, gym yeah. it's gym bro gym, yeah. and girls don't have a version of that uh, there's no girl version so of their hobby no because they don't have hobbies but no the <laughs> <laughs> wait women don't have hobbies well they you know what the thing is a lot of times girls do have normal things that they call hobbies so they'll say like i'm into like tr vacations like i love traveling or you, you say um you know i love Eating, like movie, not a hobby. <laughs> restaurant no, no. i'm like a foodie so no like, yeah, no everyone's not a hobby it's like in in your social media like your dating profiles like i love to laugh yeah we everybody does <laughs> yeah yeah everybody does everybody that's why Fun, that's another thing about comedy is the one thing that oh, yeah. uh, everyone does like a, a music not everyone does so when you go to like a uh, watch a band or if you watch a movie not everyone's making movies or or uh, a musician pro right professionally doing it right yeah. there's zero people who don't think like get together with their friends and make jokes so every single zero person, person does the thing you do some t kind of that's to some degree yeah that's a good way to put it yeah, it's like oh comedy but yeah. with the girl one i think what they do is whoever they're dating they get to be a that bunny so she'd be like <laughs> she'd be like Wait, a finance bunny yeah is there a finance bunny? they name they name the girls after the what they date <laughs> You know what? I, I know a bunch of them. All right, dude, this is a comedy bunny. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, the no. comedy bunnies aren't as no. There's plentiful. like a uh, there's a there's like a um, like in uh, in rodeo, it's buckle bunny. Buckle bunny. You ever heard that? <laughs> no. And then in in, uh, in music, it's puck the, bunnies hockey. Puck bunny. They call in music. They call them diesel sniffers <laughs> <laughs> because they're out by the tour bus. <laughs> They're out by the tour bus, oh. and then no, I got a worse one, dude, I, or a better one. Silicon so, Valley is a good uh, one. There's the uh, in uh, like uh, athletics, they call them the cleat chaser. <laughs> you never heard that? You never heard that? These might be a more American terms. Oh, they might it's be more bug bunny because there's one more bug bunny exclusive in Canada. <laughs> They're just bugs. There's no cleats. We don't have cleats. We don't. All right. Well, so I I own a uh, I don't own. I sponsor uh, a racing team. Like okay. a not NASCAR. Yeah, I like, know. I thought that was pretty cool. I was below. jealous of that. Okay, so when my, I saw our, that, I was like, I got to sponsor a soccer team or something pretty, like that. Yeah. So my driver, so he he was like in the winner circle he, after the race. He he didn't win the race, but he was down there. And I go coming from comedy, and um, I think they call him Chuckle Sluts. <laughs> you ever heard that? <laughs> I don't endorse that. I'm just saying that's what I've heard. You never heard that? <laughs> okay. Not chuckle sluts. I think I've heard chuckle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's the comedy bit. Okay. The worst uh, one. No, to this be. one's worse. This one's way worse. The <laughs> racing one is the worst. Okay. Is there podcast money? The, <laughs> <laughs> the racing one is. He told me. I go. Is there like women that are like around like with the winner's circle like just like we do in comedy or athletics okay or i'm gonna guess what it might be okay, called <laughs> you never, you will never guess this 
tailpipe liquors. <laughs> no. Engine. Hmm. Tailpipe liquors. Hood hose? Hilarious. Oh, hood hose is close. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it always got to be demeaning? It's always got to be a demeaning word. No, so he. All right, this is wild. Okay, so he said. They're called waffle bellies. Wow, oh, what does he make and he any goes, sense? Because generally they're bigger and they go down by the fence. And they <laughs> <laughs> and they're up against the fence. <laughs> they're up against the fence, trying to get the attention of they're the driver. They're gonna waffle Dan. And no, he, they, they, they're, 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 yeah, their bellies the are their bellies pressed up against the fence. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not like a, it doesn't sound don't, don't sound like attractive women. <laughs> waffle bellies well, is solid. Dude. You know, when I'm you see them driving out of the race with the waffle belly, their car is just on a slant. <laughs> I was like, dude, how was the race? He goes, oh, the waffle bellies were out. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy uh, said in Silicon Valley they have founder hounders. <laughs> oh, that's so founder good. hounders is good. Found, and he it's goes, like a founder hounder is perfect. And he says that he like owns he's like a founder guy hounder. that owns a company and. He yeah, was, yeah. he'll say like every time, a lot of times you'll see this, you know, new CEO oh, that's kind of yeah, popping in all the yeah, magazines yeah, yeah. and he'll be like, oh, that girl, like we all know her. She's a founder. Hounder. <laughs> so it works out for someone. If you're going to be hounder. one of them, yeah. you're better off being a founder hounder no, than sure. a waffle belly. Or definitely a, a diesel sniffer. <laughs> this guy in the band, you think this guy in the band is rich? He's not. No, he's not. You he's and, not. No, you think you're dating a... You know, you think you're like a bando. You're actually a barista, belly. Yeah, dude. <laughs> well, I. It, so, you're, you're a counter hounder because you got your counter your belly hounder. up against the counter at the the Starbucks. I said in so in Nashville, there's like a bunch of dudes like this that are like, they're like in their early 30s. Okay, they like crafted this Instagram profile that's like they got a couple headshots. Sure, but he's got nine roommates and he's 35. And he's sitting on the back of a truck bed with a guitar and he like he like wrote. Oh, Nashville's got a tons yes. of that. And he like wrote with Morgan Wallen's cousin. Uh-huh, of course right? he did. And so like. <laughs> Who didn't? Girls come in from like Idaho or Iowa or Ohio for the weekend and these guys are just. I go, They're I, swimming in it. Dude, and I said some guys have to like and uh, you're just like, I'm actually famous. No. <laughs> I was on fair. I was on Good Morning America. <laughs> no, but if you if you were if you wanted to get you wanted to attract women, uh -huh. some guys have to have a huge house in Franklin. No, the guitar is the the yeah. hack. Everyone knows that. I go. Do you think these guys are like cheap? These guys win. They're winning. The Chicks like guys that are at the top of any hierarchy. It honestly doesn't matter how crappy the hierarchy yeah. is. Listen, like, it's, it's two there's dudes dude telling us women have no hobbies. Here's what women like, and just uh, yeah. But I'm okay. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Okay. That there's some backyard wrestling league where the guy who's like the champion of that backyard oh, wrestling league home. is he's crushing yeah. going it. Going home. <laughs> going home with the. Yeah, uh, I saw that about the. Uh, we were in a. He, he's bathing in it right now. Ba like the. Uh, She's asking to touch the belt when she comes back to us. Do you mind if I? Can I bought this. Can I touch it? Like at the uh, falls uh, apart because it's made of tin foil. Spinner. The uh, the guy we went to a rodeo, but you know, like rodeo, like riding the horse for eight seconds, riding the bull for eight seconds. Mm -hmm. This is n not glamorous. This guy is at all. <laughs> everyone knows his name, but but no, but like, but if you go to Billy Bob's, which is a bar in Dallas, they have it at the bar. So it's bull riding. Yeah, those bars are great. Yeah. It's, but it's like, this is seven levels below professional bull riding. <laughs> but that guy that stays on the bull in that bar, swimming in it. Yes, definitely. S swimming in you it. Just, to, yeah. The moral of the story is you got to be the best at something. Yeah. So you, you might as well. Pay. I think that, by the way, I will say this wears off the farther away you get from 30. Yeah, 100%. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I feel like the girls, as they get closer to 40, get a little less impressed by the pinball high score. <laughs> at, but at the beginning. The guy who can just kill at Pop yeah. Shop. Well, they, didn't that say, they said, like... Uh, but yeah, under 20, they like a guy who's the best at something. Dude, church. The guy that's up there. I bet. Game over. The guy Top that's... Youth pastor. Game over. <laughs> he knows every verse. So he's like, he's like, like a, he lives with three dudes. 
Yeah. In like a bunk bed. <laughs> but no, he does but in in church Say his name. It, <laughs> Or like the white version of Club Shay Shay, like tell us his name. They, in in church, you come to church Sunday morning. He's not even the worship leader or the pastor. He just is the like announcement guy. That's what I was. Yeah. And they're like this guy. Well, I know you. You'll see a lot of girls will talk about that when they they would be like, oh, when I was in high school, there was like yeah. this guy who was like twenty five or whatever, and he was like oh, the yeah. manager at their, you know, like mall kiosk, <laughs> and they and they were like, oh, we this thought this guy was it. the oh, man, yeah, and now dude. I realize he was a loser. <laughs> dude, a high school teacher. We thought those people. Like went to I Harvard. Didn't, I didn't share I with thought, you on thinking highly of them. Oh yeah, <laughs> very low opinion of them. I from thought day my one. high school teachers were like just rocket scientists. And like, yeah, we had like a Bible teacher. I was like, I think this guy knows God. <laughs> and then I like went back to my like reunion, and I was like, oh, that's like a single dude, like just some guy. It falls apart. Who? What careers have have the biggest the the, the behind the mirror? It falls apart. I think that music, you hit the nail on the head because that's a big falls one. Apart. Falls apart. And but that's so funny. I think, think it about. just falls apart for older girls, but I think it's still cool for if you're in your twenties. To be late. Like, What's well, sexier, right? And there is something sexier for a guy when you don't have to hear anything they think about anything, right? It's all oh, mystique, yeah. oh, no yeah, reality. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, you don't want to know. Yeah, you there's just, no reality. The when you see just... a guy singing on stage, you're not thinking about what his normal life's no. like. No, he doesn't have one. He's on private jets. <laughs> it, yeah, matter. exactly. I can't yeah. even imagine what that guy's life must be like. I think Amazing. I like, I like I think I was like, I cussed one time and then somebody was like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. I go, what? It was like, we followed you on the internet. We thought, or like when I got canceled, there were, I said, what do you, what do you think I was d doing after my show? Mostly just praying. Like, yeah, yeah, no, like it's, it, but all these people, like if you follow, you go back into your box. And then look, yeah. Lock it in. And then I come like, what'd you, what'd you think? The cryo chamber. What did you think P Diddy was doing? Or like, not that we thought that about it, but you're like, anything you if like if you heard anything about a lot of podcasters, you'd be like, yeah, 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 didn't, yeah. That didn't shock. We didn't we didn't know that they he already was doing told that. you that. Yeah, yeah, we kind of already knew that. But if you see like LeBron James d cheats on his wife, not that you're like, you're right. They have just such a. Oh, I thought. Why did you think that? I don't know. I just wholesome. Or like a guy, any of the like. People that are on TV. Oh, I don't know. I thought he was going to meetings with his agent and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> He's what? on the plane, yeah. What? Yeah, or doing... signing autographs. Oh, what do you think he was doing? It is always funny that just, you know, no matter how successful or, you know, rich someone gets, it's like at the end of the day, most of their life is just. You know, you wake up, you eat, and you yeah. like you sit there with your wife and watch Netflix or whatever. It is. Everybody, no matter, it's kind of funny. Everybody. Like, but that's why the more glamorous it looks, the more funny it is. Because if you think about, comes up, yeah, you know, yeah, people yeah, always yeah. think about like you know, think about a president having sex is just a funny yeah. image, right? Or like they say, clipping their toenails. Yeah, clipping like, their toenails. Oh, they got to do that too. But you think of like a like a, a bodybuilder, right? You go, yeah. you know, that seems kind of glamorous, but really, you're just like his whole day is just like. I need more protein. Like, ah, yeah, I need yeah, yeah. more. Just stuff gorging his see, face. Yeah. You see, annoying him. to be around. Really trying to make sure he gets enough calories. Like, ugh. That'd be terrible. You see him at. You see them <laughs> doing like we. I was talking with. But uh, your pastor is a funny one though to think of like top. like he, the oh, top preacher. Every pastor. What does it look like when he's dicking around looking for his socks? Like, do, do, <laughs> dude, every pastor's wife smoke. Really, everyone. Everyone. Wait, did you say smoking or smokes? Smokes, like smoke show, like hot. Oh, yeah, smoke every pastor wife smokes. <laughs> they probably do that. It's hard yeah. life with the smoke, pastors, man. Yeah. The pack a day. I was talking to. Uh, so pastors are, are they're doing good, eh? Yes, dude. Yeah, all of them, and they're like goofy. even the white ones. Yes, dude, and they're like goofy. I've seen some pastors that can't be have smoke show. They wives. do every one of them. I'm picturing fat. Uh, what the note? The wives? Mm -hmm. No, but the dudes are. Wait, the, the dudes guys is... are not looking good looking guys. But you're saying they're, they're like Instagram ones. So like, that being said, like I don't know pastors. a ton of pastors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, to, to be honest, I, I feel like it's fun being friends with you because you do remind me a little bit of maybe what I would be like if I had a different life and upbringing, like in an alternative universe. <laughs> like, what's this like? Yeah, like, just what? like. 
Well, if oh, I yeah. wasn't grown up in a, you know, a godless city oh, yeah. with no, like, I didn't know I I a asked. religious person. Not only, that's it's not crazy. like it was around and we weren't religious. Like, I don't know a guy that's religious. Like, not in my family, not in my extended family, not one of my friends, a few black guys. That's it. Because <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, black they, guys. Yeah. I was cool kind of doing a joke where it's do, like, like I was talking about like Italians, yeah. their favorite things are crosses and then doing none of the Catholic stuff. <laughs> it's kind of a little bit what like the rap community was like too. They love talking about God and then none of them, like I don't, they don't even go to church. Yeah, like, just, hey, <laughs> did, what was his like general tenets? Or like, I don't know, be humble. Now, uh, don't try to be selfless. No. Give, they're not doing none of it. Give to other people. No. Nonviolent. No. My most religious friend is a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> dead serious the only guy that i really talked to that, like talked about god a lot <laughs> and you, him. You. No, i know a few now since i moved to america because it's like yeah. more normal i mean it'd be the same as like you don't know like the same reason why you're not muslim you're just like i don't know it was like i don't know anyone that was like that it wasn't around one me. time there was like it wasn't even on the table no it would have been like a it would have been just like a random thing for someone to get into where i like if anyway. you i mean you if you <laughs> ride your bike home from here you would pass 20 churches you've never like it wondered what is in them or like what they're doing you know what my dad told me when i was like really young what he was just like well he was he was kind of like you know i probably asked some version of like what is this it's called oh, god yeah, business yeah, 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 yeah. that everyone's been some people are what's, doing what's yeah yeah and then uh somebody he, told you about he it. was like oh well it's not really real but it has like really good lessons in the book that was his explanation yeah. to me. Thanks, God. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, it's not really real. And then he pulled the yeah. cross off my neck. <laughs> well, that's like that's like uh, Jordan, like Jordan Peterson. Well, I know a lot of people now that are in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jordan Peterson threads the needle. Like, he doesn't want to. <laughs> well, <laughs> he always he dodges the question when they ask him about yeah, it. He basically says, like, well, even if you didn't believe in God, like the principles of the Bible are the best to have the best life follow those well i think that don't lie, there's something to be true don't about cheat, that. uh uh put others in front of yourselves give be benevolent other like, than don't cheat i agree but no <laughs> but the yeah, uh, like all right well what's the what like what's what's the, like if if there was a grandma in front of you that was walking down the street and a hundred dollars fell out of her pocket would you give it back to her yes why and nobody else was around. Well, I think this is kind of the point you're making, but you go everyone from all different walks of life. When you separate them, yeah. and they start from first principles to come up with probably rules that make sense. For, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. They all come up with somewhat similar of rules, right? So yeah, one, yeah, all, one example would be you start, you start to, you have a general, so if you wanted to like intellectualize it aside from that, you might say that, okay, if you had a general view of how a household might run in a yep. in a successful way these are probably the rules you'd make you'd be like hey all right first of all if people's uh, stuff you can't take out any people's stuff like you might come yeah. up with these things and yeah. then you extrapolate them so i think everyone has sort of a general principle Dad, of like, yeah if, okay if, it, if, if my whole world was just three people what rules would we make yeah. that would make sense and we think don't be fair don't hit <clears throat> don't steal from him or if he's worked hard to or like yeah if there's a homeless person and you are of you have resources every human feels uh i mean if you live in new sad. york you know well, maybe not yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> once you live in like, new I'm york conscious i have no soul but you but you you would feel some level of uh <clears throat> sadness for that situation or you have some conscience yeah right, of someone that's cold and you're about to go in, you're like you know why we do you not want to hear a dog something. crying? Yeah, we should do something, right? Yeah, I think everybody would. Yeah, so then you go. All right, well, we have to have yeah, every religion. We got to have some order here. Start with that. A lot of I've heard somebody say any cult that's ever started is they save the stuff that they still like to do. Like Rastafarians, like all right, we have all these rules. What about weed? Well, we kind of like that. So let's. They make a rule like, for it. Yeah, or like a, a, a Mormons with like a, the multiple wives. Like, all right, we need to have all these rules. Like, what about? He's like, nah, I nah, keep that one. Like, everyone sure. set theirs up to, but the stuff that they liked to do, they kept. They kind of kept. 
The Mormon one's always interesting because people always talk about like, you know, it'd be sick to have multiple wives. And you're just like, I think you might be with one of the other six guys with zero wives. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's the odds are somebody's going to be out. Yeah. Somebody's going to, yeah. Like I'd have six wives. Like, I mean, chances are you'd be one of the other guys with no wives. Somebody's going to have to have none. Uh, always. That's a great point. That's the biggest problem when they talk about all the, you know, all the societies. Where, where do like all the women Everyone come has from? All, all these wives. And you're like. Well, one in six guys has six wives. <laughs> one guy has nine. <laughs> a lot of guys have zero true. wives. We should ask that about to, to Mormons. <clears throat> well, they, a lot of people talk about that's one of the reasons why they need. Uh, uh, that's one of the reasons they invented. How could everyone have six wives? It's not possible. So you need one of the people think people always talk about this. They're like, that's one of the reasons you need marriage because you can't have that many guys running around with no wives. <laughs> So if one guy has 30, you're like, dude, that's 29 psychos on the loose <laughs> that are like dying. <laughs> and they've had the that's Mormon, 20, it's looking to fight, you know, the Mormon church has had to answer all the other questions about race. And, there, and no one's ever asked that one. The Mormon has they've had to answer all because they used to have like stuff about race. Like what that, was in the like race. black people can't be Mormon. Really? Like into like the 80s. And they're like, all right, we got the 80s. We got to bail on that one. <laughs> yeah, we, we can't keep that. We can't keep that ten. Why do they bail on him? One of the guys wanted a black no wife. One, no, <laughs> no one has ever shown the Mormons the calculator. You're like, hey, I get the six wives. Like, in, in, <laughs> yeah, yeah, in yeah. Muslim, if you're Muslim, don't you get like uh, virgins when you get to heaven? Yeah, seventy-two. But the dudes, the women don't. Well, the women don't go to heaven, John. <laughs> I know it's the martyrs. I, from my understanding, the martyrs are the only ones that get the virgins, and you're not allowed to be a martyr if you're a woman. Really? I think so. T well, might makes... be talking shit, but I think so. Yeah, all the virgin talk, no matter what religion, doesn't. The women are like, what do we? <laughs> the women, are, what do we have? Well, they weren't invited to the meetings when they were writing yeah, the scripts. Yeah. But... Oh yeah, they weren't at the meetings also. <laughs> Well, and they could be like, you get to be one of the virgins. Dude, you know what's, you know what's, <laughs> like, sweet. You know what's... <laughs> I mean, so many comedians have made that joke. No, it's like, <laughs> when you die, you get 72 virgins, just 72, like, guys at a video game convention. Like, how easy that. I feel like that. like, dude, I started with this That's joke. covered we territory. That <laughs> we definitely have that joke. No, uh, in, you know, like, are you familiar with, like, the principles of uh, AA? Yeah, because it's very religious, right? All right, so look up, look up like the 12, well, it, you don't need to look it up. It's like, I am powerless. That's number one, admit you're powerless. Uh, give, uh, submit your life to someone greater than yourself. Understand that you, your way is not the way. All tenants written by men. And they've said recently in the AA is like women actually need to come into sobriety, need to come into their power. Like men, they have to do it differently. They do like embrace your strength, and men have to be like, "You're an idiot. You failed. You right?" Because we think we're overconfident. And he's like, "This is actually not good uh, for women to follow these same tenets because women need to stand up for themselves and and admit that they have power." That Does is, that make uh, sense? it makes a ton of sense. Yeah. I've, like, I've thought oh, about that exact so, same yeah. thing the other way yeah. that a lot of times like therapy that men get the 12 steps. a lot of times yeah. they yeah. give men therapy yeah. that you're like, this would be better for a woman. You know what I mean? Well, like what? Um, so I think a lot of times, okay. You know, when you're having like, you know, that I mean, on both sides, it's, you need to like empower yourself, yep. but I think a lot of times with dudes, there's, I feel like women, okay, I think I can put it a good way. In the, in, from a therapeutical sense, women need like, they want the, the validation first and then they can grow into it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Whereas I feel like men, a lot of times, it's more like, um, quit your complaining does yeah. is necessary yeah, yeah, yeah. where it's like if you validate their complaining they'll do more of it oh, and they'll yeah, sink more yeah, into yeah. being a victim yeah. where it's like sometimes you need someone to be like enough oh. of this dude yo, whereas, yeah, yeah, yeah. whereas if a girl needs sometimes women like they need first that to someone be like yes i understand that is hard you are yeah. going through a hard thing Dang, that's good and sometimes guys yeah. need to be like no one gives it like so, on the uh, like on the uh and it's person to person but in general <laughs> 
like a, it's almost no, it's uh, like the, it's indulgent like the, uh, for a guy to just like talk about how hard he has it because no one cares. No, like the bulletin board uh, in the in the locker room before the game. Look at everything the newspaper said terrible about you. Yes. Look at hey, they said you're not going to win the conference. They said our leading score is trash. They have, we haven't played any good opponents, and they they eat all that in and then go out and win. You can you can use versus that, a yeah. woman would be like hey. You guys are great. Or maybe a feminine yeah, yeah. versus a masculine. Not, and yeah. Not, and not, yeah, yeah. Versus like they need to be. I, I used to have this joke about, I feel like. Yeah, right. so I, I agree that that makes sense that yeah. they figured out, they figured in AA they had to like gender hey, it a little bit because that makes a, sense. Hey, yeah, because it was written by dudes. And the dudes had. The girl's all, like, you're powerless. And like, you can't do anything. And the, the girl's women, like, well, then what am I supposed to do? Yeah, then? I think they glug, start. Glug, glug, glug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, maybe they're, they're more prone to start with powerless. Mm -hmm. They're like, we already are. And men are like, I got the solution. No, here's how I'm going to quit drinking. I'm going to put the beer in the garage fridge. And they're like, dude, <laughs> all right, that didn't work. All right, what I'm going to do I'm is just going to have two beers before I drive home. On the weekends. And they, all these things don't work. Or all these solutions. And you have to be like, hey, I need help. Oh, that's even a dang we're that's even a better the world's problem that's an ad, better explanation though because you're right it was kind of like your natural instinct as a dude it's kind yeah. of you know that's why they say people always fight with their chicks because they talk to you and you're trying to give them solutions oh, and yeah, they want right. someone to, to listen yeah yeah it's your natural instinct is yeah. to start trying to solve it yeah. and you, they need to be like whatever you're thinking about it's not gonna work yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all this mumbo jumbo no, you're going on gonna, with i'm work. telling you it's not the move they're like look at you dude you're 50 and you live under a bridge <laughs> yeah, and yeah eating drinking malt liquor you're like but listen tomorrow you're like dude you you're every other guy th was this too and it, it didn't work for them no. yes you got to be like hey i like you're I not different some, as i know you think you're different and I you're the exception help. of the rule yeah and I, asking for help probably takes that step from a guy. first and you yeah, need to yeah, give yeah, them a yeah. reason to which is where's like the where's a girl yeah they're asking yeah uh, interesting good I, work I, eh? yeah <laughs> they uh I had a bit about like so. It's never worked. For every every time a comic used to say, "I used to have a bit," that means it didn't work. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Or otherwise, we would have known. <laughs> I guess you recorded. I used it, to yeah. have a bit, but yeah, all right, yeah, all right. So like, when I left my job to do comedy, I remember everybody in that office was like, "That'll never work. We'll see you back here in three months. Good luck trying to get your job back." And these are things I still remember. That have motivated me. That's interesting that they gave you shit like that. Everybody, or like, the, or like, you see another like. There's comics that I would consider to be my competitors, that I want to. I check the charts and where I'm doing and what they're doing. Uh -huh. right? There's a couple of them. You probably have a couple too. And I go. The problem with like women's empowerment is like you're supporting each other too much. I go, if I was like, I'm going to start a pressure washing business and my neighbor came over, he's like, men supporting men. I'd be like, never mind, dude. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just work at Chipotle, dude. I'm not, or like, like Albert Einstein was like trying to invent whatever and his buddy came down and was like, boy power. You're like, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I don't, I don't. Uh, this is more of a me thing. You can work for me if you want. Yeah. If, yeah. I, oh, I don't think I want it. But you go, this guy has a pressure washing business. I got one. I'm going to beat him. Yeah, I'm gonna sabotage his pressure. That's a, we, yeah, yeah. That, we <laughs> survive toxic on on like competition versus it's all girl power, right? It's all like we support you. Like, look at all the, the, the we're in this together, and you're like, well, there's only one spot. So. Yeah, so it's in me or you. <laughs> well, especially in, in finite games, right? But look at all the they they always say look at all the like uh, the recess games in school. All the girls were like hopscotch and a jump rope which were community mm. the dudes are like playing against each other all the girls were playing with each other more, well, they're the, more collectivist yeah and the were like games that require everyone and there's no winner there's no like jumping around everybody gets a turn they're all kind of working together and dudes want to kill each other yeah yeah if, if three people playing jump rope you have to work in unison Two, yeah and then it's your work. turn and then it's my turn there's no like who did it fastest who, who double like and dudes are like we're playing four square I'm gonna beat you. Was, we would find a way to compete. Well, I was talking about that in terms of the fairy tales, like uh, 
you know, Little Red Riding Hood, trust yeah, the woman, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, don't yeah. trust strangers and right, dude fairy tales, yeah. Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a cryptocurrency fairy tale. That's crazy. <laughs> That's Jack a, and the Beanstalk. Everyone's going to tell you not to. You yeah. do it anyway. Yeah. And then you get rich. And we're like, dude, I love this. <laughs> this this fairy tale. Is your awesome. mom was wrong. You shove it. <laughs> your mom was wrong. The neighbors were wrong. Yeah. Everyone who doubted you All is wrong. garbage. Yeah. But they were like, I used to, like, who had that? Uh, Dave Chappelle had that bit of a Chappelle show. He's like, the real the movie the real story of antoine fisher remember this bit yeah 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 written by antoine fisher <laughs> so, like, wait. so like are you sure it's the, the real story so like the, the 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 idea of like the bible right so jesus was lived to be 33 years old so they're recount these are his buddies Re matthew mark luke and john were his disciples in essence they rolled with him so like when they were like hey we're going to tell the stories about him. That's what the Bible is. The stories, you're like, well, don't tell that one because. So they're leaving only the good ones, you're saying. Like if you were like, yeah, John, I'm, I'm passed away. You don't want to be the guy at the funeral being like, and that one time at the horror, you're like, dude. Like, hey, not hey, 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 <laughs> not now. Talk about the not time now. that he. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then you're like, well, dude, are these, like, if you're writing a story about you know feeding five thousand people or one of the miracles or something like that you're like well it's like every people have debated the accuracy of the stories mm -hmm. or at least you watch the news at night you're like all right these stories are factually true but why are you focusing on these stories versus all these like you you're, yeah of you're course famous you say that. about I mean, israel and gaza right? you're like hey, yeah well who's according to who yeah, it's always, always the, you know, you could take any collection of information and paint yeah. any picture, right? And it's by Martin omission. Luther, yeah, there's people know. that, no, I don't want to say that. I was going to, yeah. So you're saying that there could be other stories and you could paint a different picture. They just if you... let up, but, well, it, it, he was, lived a sinless life, according to the Bible. But they were like, what about the stories where, like, nothing happened that day? Yeah. What about the time that there's like, there's like, he gave the homeless guy money and he accidentally gave him too much, so he had to take some back. Yeah, there's like 50 <laughs> stories of Jesus. There's a hundred. Well, he lived, what does he do? There's like hmm. 13 to like 30. What was he doing? Yeah, was like, was it boring? Right. They always like, talk about how he sort of like hung with prostitutes and stuff like that. And that's yeah, what they yeah, leave yeah. it at that. They were like, they, <laughs> just he was hanging out. Yeah, he's, well, it was, it was like he always. Yeah, the stories that it, like it doesn't fit like the the narrative. I've never read it. All right. Well, the Bible is one of our like, major though. books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> apparently it's a big Jesus one in America. Jesus is like the big guy, the major guy in it. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I, you well, if you go to like I've read the Quran multiple times. Have you? No. No. I've I, somebody gave it to me one time. Really? And they don't have the Quran. I said you want that. You you've been fiddling around with all this Bible yeah, shit. We gotta get you on the Quran. <laughs> we gotta get you on the real deal. But the but the but the Bible is the one in the hotels. You yeah. seen it in there? Which one's that? What testament is that? The they put you in the hotel. Old hotels? and new. They That's give you both. both testaments. Yeah, but they got the Book of Mormon in there sometimes too. Do you ever read in the hotel? I have. Yeah. Yeah, but now you got it on your phone. That's where the technology kind of came apart for the games. Mm. The Gideons are the the, the the denomination. I mean, I've heard people talk about the Bible millions of times. Yeah. Yeah, but my like forty my, laws of power. They have some biblical stories. In there. My Bible. Oh. Of, <laughs> <laughs> if they, well, like my my set as a comic, I'm like, dude, if you're if you're like Christian, you're gonna like get more of this. But have you ever been to like a like a the best possible probably example is like an urban show, and you're like, I like kind of get it, but I don't get it like these people get it. Yeah. Like, you're yeah. like, oh, y'all are like, I went to uh, the, the, it was called the, the universe soul circus, universal circus. This one's called universe soul, meaning S O U L, which is like a black. I love that. Does that connect with you or no? Do you get that reference? Yeah, I get it. Okay. I not, uh, yeah. I, I just love all soul. the, <laughs> yeah. no, I'm, I would, yeah. I would love to see the names on that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Soul circus. So this is like Modi too short. Yeah. Like <laughs> it was, this is like black circus. So I went to it and they were like. Little Einstein's is this like song from like black culture and they started playing the hook. Everybody stood up and it was like dancing to this song. It's Little Einstein's. I don't even, I've never even heard of it. And everyone knew the word. Everybody, everybody knew it immediately. And I yeah. was like, I'm out. But I, I, what, how does this connect with your group? 
why does it they they saw they talked about a uh, uh fluffy you know fluffy mm-hmm. that he was like super like super super latino and they were like dude if you want to like get be, like be more general audience you got to get rid of these like latino sayings you can't just be all in no because that but you're big with latinos which is enough, but yeah, well, I know what I mean, you're saying. You're yeah. always, you could always be bigger, yeah. But you would always be, you would know of, but everybody knows him mm-hmm. now. And you're like, if you're Latino, I'm sure you know it more. But if you were like, because you like say some things and then you would like say these like, like Spanish words, orale, or something like that. I don't even know what that means. Hopefully it's not something bad. But he's like, if he opened, he cut out all that stuff. So like, with your idea of what, christianity would be i think i don't go any deeper than that like everybody knows what are the the general facts the top five facts about it well just aside from that before you tell me that yeah i what you're saying about people connecting with the communities because i've always thought like probably even before comedy i was like a director oh yeah and i've all i feel like that's one of the things that i look at the most of like you know there's so many people that will be like oh that's not good yeah and you'll just be like to me, that's like the most ignorant thing to just, yeah, yeah. it's one thing to like really understand it and not like it. Yeah. But so many people are just like, someone's like a big speaker's connecting with all these people yeah. and they just go, why does everyone like him? And it's like, well, yeah, you should f- figure, figure that out. Figure out why you don't like him. Yeah, or yeah. figure out why they, they like, like him. him. And yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, I feel yeah, like, yeah. especially with artists, if you can't find out why those so many people, you, you get go, get rid of them. Yeah, you should yeah. be able to understand like what it is about someone that's connecting to so many people, whether that yeah. be like a movement or anything. It's like NASCAR. Yeah, so. The biggest spectator sport in the world, 250,000 And people, people are just like, oh, they're just dumb. Everyone, like, d- everyone's dumb but me. I am superior to all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a, it's a wild thought. To it's have. a very like ignorant very way to ignorant. look at it. Yeah. But I think as it's also does you such a disservice because you've as a human. Yeah. It's got, I think the biggest Gosh, one so is dudes like you can a really obvious one that people have in their normal life is there'll be like a dude that girls like right why and guys like will be like why do girls like that idiot and you're yeah. like yeah I mean maybe you should uh, figure that out see what he's doing yeah and yeah, you're just see, like oh. once you understand you oh. might be like okay maybe I could do that to some degree and be or more like, like a magnetic yeah. person but without being a what I consider him to be a douchebag or whatever you, you but to just like completely be so many people do that right now is just be like oh this guy's just this this guy's just this he's filling in up politics a, he's filling comedy up arenas. culture you were like you can't say oh, he's, he's not just funny. this he's not funny to you yeah but you go if you got into it you're like oh I get it yeah I understand what he's happen and it's not and you can get it and still not be your thing but if i was ever like so i don't think when i think about religion i never think like oh everyone's just dumb i just think like yeah i I think i do try to understand like what problem is it solving for them what like how is it connecting with them and and why and all that this does put you this 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 framework of like that's why you have like like, just never to be like dismissive to like universal realities yeah (laughs) no you're like why why does all these why do all these if we're like, why do all these people like drink? I don't drink anymore. But you're like, well, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, why are all these people at this bar till three in the morning just standing here talking? I go, you would never hear that out of my mouth because it's awesome. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, yeah I get it. And if you instead of <laughs> well, yeah, that's the best when you're like the most ways some people would be like, well, I don't understand why this guy would cheat on his wife. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I mean, well, you get it. Well, you do. You do get it. You do get it. You yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, it's you a, it was a bad disagree. choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad choice. It's a bad choice, and you all can understand why you wouldn't. So if you, if like, it can't be that bewildering to you. <laughs> you can't be like that's confusing. <laughs> this week's episode brought to you by Rocket Money, baby. Listen, Rocket Money is saving your life. Do you have subscriptions that you might be paying double for, or subscriptions that you don't even use anymore? Get on board with rocket money get rid of all your unused subscriptions uh that you do not want did you know that nearly 75 percent of people have subscriptions that they have forgotten about before i started using rocket money i thought about uh let's see i know i had netflix a couple of them we talked before about the car wash place that i go to that was trying to get me and rip me off i think i actually have two icloud accounts and then uh I was paying, I got, I edit my videos on CapCut now, and I used to edit them on, uh, shoot, what's that other uh, editing service? Um, I forgot about it, but it, I, I found it through Rocket Money, and they canceled it for me. I've always struggled 
finding time to manage my finances at the end of a busy week. Last thing I want to do is spend time budgeting all my expenses or tracking down customer service to cancel old subscriptions that I no longer use. But Rocket Money does all that for me. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. Baby, Rocket Money has over 5 million users and it's helped save members an average of $750 a year. That's over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash net positive. That's rocketmoney.com slash net positive or hit the link in the episode description below. This week's episode also brought to you by Manscaped. 2024 is here and in full swing and that means it's time for your New Year's resolutions to check in. Oh, our people at Manscaped got a deal for you, baby. It's never too late to level up your grooming game. Oh, Manscaped's new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is every man's cheat code to look good, feel good, and turn the page on confidence this year. Whether you're going for a trim or that clean shaven look, this trimmer has got you covered, trusted by over 10 million men worldwide, including myself. That's unbelievable. That's an unbelievable st- stat, actually. Uh, now is your time to get a grip on your grooming with your exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com and use promo code NETPOSITIVE for 20% off plus free shipping, baby. I got the um, I was on Good Morning America this morning, and technically I should give a shout-out to Manscaped because I was all cleaned up. Not the haircut, but the rest of it was because of manscaped if you order uh manscaped they got you all set up the the package is incredible uh and it's something everybody needs ladies listen get one for your man if it's his birthday let's see what's coming up oh uh what's that season called when you take your shirt off all the time and you're at the lake and you're at the pool what's that called again oh yeah summer that's the time to be scaped up baby uh get 20 percent off and free shipping with the code net positive at manscaped dot com embrace the new you and definitely embrace a new trimmer Ooh, we got a new slogan courtesy of manscaped uh manscaped.com uh get 20 percent off free shipping with the code net positive or hit the link in the episode description below so if everybody is going into you drive by this church everybody's going into there you're like it must be serving them somehow yes right so either like that's why the the christian community of like long, like excluded homosexuals, and then somebody comes along and says, I'm Christian and I'm gay. They're like, wait, we built this box of order. Of so of this is only how, dudes that like yeah, box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, nah, nice. <laughs> yeah. Or like you you so the don't lie, don't cheat, like the do unto others as you have them do to you. You have to have a framework of life. So it does provide a religion organized no matter what it does provide all right these are the rules and this guy breaks the rules the where are op- we at right now on being gay yeah where yes yeah, uh, new pope is pretty chill eh? he's pretty chill yeah new which pope's is why like, people have a problem with it yeah <laughs> well new pope's out yeah. of control new pope's like no, doing no, yeah. sermons on no, wearing bondage outfits yeah, he might be trans <laughs> yeah he's like I, he's like yeah he's like trans lunch I, or something i feel like, like every day i hear the the pope being like actually like every day he has a new thing that's like, like actually it's cool <laughs> yeah, yeah like, actually wait, heroin's pretty sick what yeah so what yeah like the 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 like Amish community, you know what that is? Yeah. So it's like they live very, very no technology. None. By the way, live in because this morning, uh, as we're filming this, Instagram went under. Done. I looked at my phone and then it logged me out of Facebook. I was just like, What's the I point? just got hacked. No, worse than that, I was just like, I just got hacked. It's yeah. over. I was like, I'll just jump out of the balcony now. No it's to over. Yeah. Like they're going to drain my money. Everything's and I was just gone. like, or I got kicked off. And it was just like such a stress for me oh, for, for nothing. So they might have it right. They could have it right. Well, okay, so although it's harder to be Amish now, yeah. it was easier to be Amish when it was like you can't drive. Now it's like you can't Tough. buy something. Yeah, <laughs> like now you're really who out of the that, loop if you're Amish. Who had that bit? He was like the guy, like because he's like God decided the perfect amount of technology was between 1951 and 1956. <laughs> it's like okay, that's funny because you're like so. 
Everything before this was fine. 1956, no more. Because they have all the farm equipment and stuff yeah, like that. They have all of it. So, so you, but the, the it was op- really a dad saying whatever his kids are into is done. Hey, no, yeah, 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 any of that. No, get it out. <laughs> Stay here. But now, <laughs> yeah, and also the music was the best right then too. Oh, by far. Not this. Sh- the kids are listening. No, to. not anymore. <laughs> these beats and these drums. No. Well, the Amish community is having hard is having a hard time with retention. If you want to call, if you, <laughs> well, I can't imagine they're getting a ton of new joiners. That's wanna, for no, sure. Like, no, kids. The families. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but so you know what Rumspringer yeah, is? What, if you have four kids, you probably, what, you retain, retain two of them generally? Well, Rumspringer is what's called, uh, it, when you turn 18, you get to go. Rumspringer? And that's what it's called. You get to go. And it's you like get to, spring break for Amish? And you get to do whatever you want until you decided to come back and join or <laughs> stay They got to cancel that. that. Well, that's what they're having a problem with. <laughs> But imagine, it's like they like they're the priests. They're like, all right, you can have a couple girls, and then you yeah. stop. They're like, hey, no, yeah, th- this is where they we just got to keep you off all together. <laughs> well, it's me well, with if, one cookie. If you're dieting, it's like you, none of that house. Not at well. If you if you live in like a heavy, heavy like Muslim country, and like can also consider that like a lot of the a lot of the textbooks. I was homeschooled, very traditional religious, full Christian, or just the elementary, all like, the way up to ninth grade. So you went to a high school, though. Yeah, I went to Christian high school. But all the all the textbooks were Christian. Mm-hmm. Like the math books were like, if if Jesus fed 5,000 people and 3,000 people left, how many people are there? Okay. It's like all... So we had the encyclopedia. But prior to the 90s, without this, you didn't have anything. Yeah, that was your world. Your, your world was. I and mean, that was so, literally my world with hockey. Yeah. Like everything right, my yeah, dad yeah, told yeah. me was like, you know, if you scored three, if you scored a hat trick one game, and yeah. everything was in that terms was of that, hockey. That, but you didn't know another world. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. now, like. You're just like, oh, every family everywhere is like, does this much hockey. And then you look at. I'm now, not the only kid getting up at 6 a.m. against my will, forced to take I practice shots like in Everybody the does this. Yeah, because yeah. when you get out and you learn like other kids' families. You're allowed to eat and if you didn't score? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought everyone was like this. So religion, like all those like big, uh, um, like a Mormon, like you see those Netflix like cults, they have to be, they have to control the information. Mm-hmm. They have to. That's what other countries do. That's what you're saying. Control the information. So all the like, noise. Yeah. It's like, you know, brains aren't that no, great. You, you don't know? need to know everything. Yeah. But it's like. It's not even that you need to need to know everything. It's like you can't handle it all. No. So I think some people I've always whenever I meet someone that's like I can tell is smarter than me. Like I have a few friends that are like r- like you know On real level. geniuses. Yeah, yeah. And I I've always noticed cuz I try to like discern like what exactly it is that is that is someone that's smarter, especially that if you're have. thinking about like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've what I've concluded is that when someone has like a really high IQ, yep. What it means in practicality is that they can process more factors. So, okay, a lot of times when you're just like even, and I think why funniness, the funniest people are always like one below that yeah. because it's comedy is sort of a mix of you have to you know, see finding, it, able to connect. Well, to you're it. optimizing, yeah, yeah. right? So, say imagine you're taking a million factors, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're like, can I process all these factors and pick the pick the funniest one, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like the the more the more brain power you have, the more factors you can process. Yeah, yeah. But your optimization engines of like finding the funniest slow thing or down. the best thing. Yeah. Not only do they slow down, I think as a necessity of pr- processing more factors, yeah. your sometimes your optimization becomes algorithmic. Yeah, so a lot of yeah. times those people will 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 have like almost the way that a computer might say like. Uh, take these 10 things and then put the funniest ones two together. Yeah, they yeah. basically will use a program of someone else has done it this way, so yeah, I'll yeah, do it this yeah, way. They have no so original of, thought. Yeah, yeah so yeah. it becomes a lot of that. So I think yeah. what they're missing sometimes is what would you describe as creativity. And to connect it. Yeah, and yeah, sometimes yeah. people have both, and there's obviously different levels, but I think that that sometimes is a negative of having so much processing power. Much. It was like we don't, yeah, we don't. Yeah. The but smart, humans yeah. can only process so much factors. So I think that when 
there's so much factors and they just keep multiplying and multiplying and then you have the phone and that's an exponential amount and then you have way more relationships and that's and i think that that probably is one of the factors of why people have looked for like a singular answer to everything gone back or needed one yeah like the smartest guy how do i simplify this and i'm not capable of it so i need to find it from somewhere else uh, the smartest guy from from my high school they always told us to be like this guy you got to be like this guy he's the smartest guy and he works at target now stop it he does because that's a good example of like he had all but he couldn't like this part uh, like he couldn't figure that part out he got the books but why isn't he like an engineer or something well he just because he couldn't figure out how to like take care of himself maybe like you gotta have couldn't couldn't figure any of it out and this that's a pretty good like you know everyone gets to say Go yeah, back to that teacher. Yeah, yeah. What happened? And they were like, "Don't." And, and all the guys that were like, "I feel like kind of." Did you ever like go back us. there and rub it in his face? Hey, man, no, check I, your I, bank I, balance in front of him. <laughs> but wouldn't you be if you have all those? I go to that Target a lot. Oh, what's up? I just okay. We're loading up the tour bus with snacks. Oh, what's up? Throw a five at him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but the inability to so. I was with my sister-in-law when, because we go vacation down amongst the Amish people every Christmas, because that's our families from there. Okay. So they go. Where's that? Sarasota, Florida. Well, no, that's the like, address. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's like the Amish community. It's like Amish Las Vegas. Hmm. It's like a little bit. The the bishop down there is chill. So like the bishop. What's the Ohio, Amish slots? They have the guy with the three not cups. Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Just the guy with the cups. Dude, the nobody's ball. gonna get that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes for one person. <laughs> <laughs> the guy on the street in Vegas you're talking about? <laughs> yes. That's that's the Amish casino. It's just one guy at a table person. with it. But they go I go is my sister Allah who married into our family. She was like, Don't they see us with me with my mascara and my I wear mascara. They no her. Oh. <laughs> don't don't they look at us and go, I wish we had that and I go, I don't think so. Right. Like, don't, it's not like... Just the same way that right now, if you saw a guy walking around with the iPhone glasses on... Too much. Yeah, you don't think like... I wish I was him. No, not no. really. <laughs> you or think you this in, weirdo. If you live in like uh, Archbold, Ohio, you think Times Square is too much. Mm-hmm. You're like, I don't want to live... I don't, it doesn't look It's just fun. stressful. Well, it's, it's too... Like, so you go, I, I don't... Like the Hasidic, all the Hasidics that you always see on the uh, out, what is that? The the three train to like Kingston Avenue. Yeah. And they have the thing, the whatever those things are, and they have the hats, and they're like horns. Memor- no, <laughs> they are memorizing scripture. And you're like, that doesn't seem right. Hasidics aren't really crushing it. Orthodox are. Ortho- maybe I'm thinking Orthodox. Orthodox are the ones who that have are- the little uh, pony, their bangs, mm. and they're bald. That's Hasid's. Yeah. It is. Yeah, and they and they have the the little tassels that come. They just here. read the Torah all day long. All day. Yeah, and you go well. That, but that like you you go outside of here, you'll see a, you'll see a woman in Times Square wrapped, all the way head to toe, except for her eyes, because she believes that her God has instructed her to do that, right? Yeah, or her That's, husband. Right. <laughs> They well, the, the God obviously doesn't talk to women. He talks to men, and then men tell. Yeah, them, he tells them. Obviously, yeah. Nah, he says that's why. And we're all, and we're all. By the way, some of us aren't right because the nature of the religions is to say the other ones are not right. Well, that's what the ones that that's the ones that include too many clothing requirements. Like they're starting to get fancy. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, the one yeah, yeah, most yeah. of the main stuff is somewhat similar. Where you kind have of to like get you know rid what? Of it. Yeah. But you know what I mean. The ones yep. that are just adding in, like if you're like, oh, also we want you to wear this headgear. You're like, yeah. okay, now it's getting yeah. all right. Now yeah, you're yeah, starting yeah. to now you're going off book a little now, bit. Yeah, because now, now it's 106. Like I'll wear the headgear when it's convenient. When you go to like the church, but you can shoot when you're yeah. Because house. most the people agree on sort of the most of the main stuff, yeah, 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 and then yeah. some people get a little fancy when get they're a, get, they got a little <laughs> they're, they're going off roading. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got a little confident. Yeah, you're like, all right, hold on, we got to do what? Like, but yeah, yeah. Like you seen that? Like even I've even thought of. I mean, there's a lot of stuff where you think of uh, uh, the way that so like funny. Jewish religion works. Yeah. You know, for example, where they're like one day off where oh, you, you can't seem to do know any- a lot about Judaism, but you don't know anything.
in New York and I'm a comedian. <laughs> Are you crazy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I grew up in Toronto. I live in New York and I'm a comedian. I've been in entertainment oh, my whole life. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know a lot of Jews. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, that's like my, especially around, like, uh, I'd say, yeah, a good portion of my friend group is Jewish people. But um, practicing or no. just by heritage? No. Uh, most. Like, do they go to synagogue? Yeah, but they don't practice Judaism. They do go to synagogue, but okay, it's, but you know what chill. I mean? Yeah. They go to church like black guys go to church. <laughs> their, their mom wants them to go. <laughs> they got to be seen there. They got to be seen yeah, there. They're not doing well, I think it almost has become sort of like a ritual. But this is what I was saying where, in terms of even what you're saying, like, for example, where they have the Sabbath and they're like, okay, one day a week, you're not allowed to work. You're not allowed yeah. to do this. Like, yeah. I guess Christians sort of have their version of that, but maybe but, not as strictly enforced. Yeah, but yeah. like... That does it is a that is a good rule. That in general, that's what I'm saying. About and, and you Peterson, know what the truth is? General. Okay, do yeah. you remember when the pandemic first happened? Yeah. And there was such a there was, maybe only for a week or two weeks or whatever, and I'm yeah. I kind of quickly got back to normal. But yeah. like, there was it wasn't just that like oh you have a day off. Yeah. It was that like everyone has to do this, yeah, so everybody. I can actually yep. you know sort of be calm for a second, yeah, yeah, knowing yeah. that the world's not moving on without me. Everybody's yeah. If everybody else is still touring stand up, you're off. Right. You're like well everyone's off. So if there was a day where they were like we all agree on this, which yeah. again no one you can never do this. Yeah. You need everyone to be the same thing, but like yep. it's not just that you get to do it. It's that the world does it. Like that is good. Yes. If you're like my whole yep, community yep, yep. does it, so I know he's not. We're all doing it. Yes, no one's like cheating. No one's cheating. Following. I know he's not getting ahead of me. It's like yeah. we're all. We're all doing it. We're all taking a break right now, yeah. and everyone has to do it. You don't get to like go score a few more points. And this guy gets to get ahead of you. That's a huge part of uh, what actually makes it be able to be a break. Right. Which is so that's good. Which you say like, it must be serving them somehow. It's like well, the Amish community is like, dude, they. All of their family is there. That's their retirement is the family. They, they have all the food there. You're like, they look at us and you're like, dude, Instagram falls, goes down. We're done. Oh, it was a rough day. We're done, <laughs> dude. They're like, well, we don't, nothing changed. Yeah. And so, yeah, all these. You're gonna, I obviously would have been the one, one of the ones that left. I mean, yeah, the <laughs> truth is like, the, the, and this is why it's like that stuff I need it for me. Like I'm the one that, you know, I would be the one cheating. You know what I mean? So that's why I need yeah. them to be like, no, you're not wow. even allowed. Electricity's like, off. You sneak down to like the gas station and get like a Snickers. And <laughs> yeah. like, dude, th this doesn't really work if everyone does that. The hey, are you downstairs working algorithms again? <laughs> no. How about you? Uh, I wanted to ask you about comedy for a little bit. Yeah. We got in this rabbit hole of, of Christianity I'm not, somehow. Well, it's interesting. You're my yeah. most Christian friend. It's a lot of pressure. So yeah. I don't really know that many people. I mean, I know more people now because America's you got very Christian. You got God and the devil with me and Corinne. You know, but, Christian's like a... <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Dude, I'm joking. Corinne's one of our best friends. I do, have, yeah. I do have a wide variety of friends of like, yeah, like from, oh, you know, another devil. very Christian yeah. to, yeah. you know, the feminist heathens. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, uh, we're, we're, we're still praying for Corinne. Yeah. We're going to get her. She's going to become Christian. <laughs> <laughs> this is the year. Dude, the, the holy water fucking we burns, don't do that, dude. We burns don't do her that. skin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm closer to that. <laughs> Obviously, um, I'm more on that side. And, but did, did, you get to but I just think it's interesting that like Christian is like a you know it's like a voting block here. Like it's yep. a it really matters. Like we have our voting blocks were the Quebec, the French. That was yep. the, you know the voting block. So I just it's it is interesting. Did you know I did one joke when I what's the uh, is Ottawa the capital? Of Canada? Mm, yes. Is it or no? Yeah. Okay. I was I, just kind of thinking about something else. I, you know, like if... if Yeah, because people think it's Toronto, but it's not. Yeah, so we had a show in Ottawa. This is the, this joke, we did a tour through Canada, like six six dates. This joke murdered so hard. And it was probably because it was, I was coming from my perspective. So we landed in Ottawa, and there was a parliament immersion tour. On like one, you know those little like flyers that they have in hotels. Yeah. It said Parliament Immersion Tour, and I go, dude, this is crazy. I took this Parliament Immersion Tour. Why'd you do this? This is my joke. Oh, okay. I didn't do it. Oh, okay. but I go, I took the Parliament like, Immersion. This is what you're tour. doing on your day off. I go, they, uh, <laughs> they, uh, um, uh, raised my taxes, confiscated my business, and made me get the vaccine. <laughs> and everybody's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> dude, everybody went nuts, dude. It's just like a simple Ripped joke. my cross Very off my neck. simple joke. And I was like, I took the parliament emergency tour. Yeah, they confiscated my business, raged with my taxes, and made me took the vaccine. And everybody was like, ah. Everybody went crazy, dude. But I think that's because I was from America. I came there. And yeah. I was like, I don't know how. But I know of, speaking of like groups, here's what I know about Canada. Uh, hockey, the trucks, the truck protest. <laughs> the trucker boys. Yeah, the truck. No, the truck protest. Yeah. The truck protest and milk in a bag. Hockey, yeah. Or like if you were going to be a Canadian comedian, I was like, I know like the general stuff. But you go, I don't know the specifics. That's about all I know. Well, believe it or not. And Justin Trudeau's hot. A lot of what I've noticed about, um, uh, I'm always kind of looking at comedically, like what's the difference between London group, yeah, and yeah, Canada yeah. and, you know, yep. sort of South American comedy and Mexican yeah, yeah. comedians, right? And one thing that's, you know, American comedy is, I'm just American specifically, uh, Places like London, uh, Toronto. London, Ontario. Yeah, they kind yeah, of, yeah, uh, yeah. some of what you would call Canadian is actually somewhat similar to the conventions in Southern uh, America. And I think okay, here's like, a big like, part of it. Like conservative? Can I pitch you something Let's that I it. thought was interesting? Well, I'm ready. Of one of the reasons why I think America is so religious? Let's hear it. Okay. So one thing I've noticed about it. Well, that's why we started. So if you look at comedy other places in the world, it's okay. all, it's very satirical, right? Okay more sarcastic and satirical, right? And right. to be a really great satirist, you need to remove yourself from the satire, right? Okay. Americans don't do that. They're very, that them is in everything they do. Americans- I am this, yeah. yeah Americans yeah. are very, they can't, if you write, if you read satire made by Americans, you know what the author thought. So they're, okay, yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. unable to like remove themselves from things they made. Yep. It's like even their impressions, like a lot of times it, impressionists will do an impression of someone. And it's like, you also know whether he liked or didn't like that guy based you on the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's great point. I think that's a very like American thing. And I think that's okay. one of the reasons why it's so popular to like for religion to be like, okay, I need to remind myself that I'm not the center of the universe. Cause <laughs> America. Yeah. Yeah. Cause Americans very much think they are. I think I have yep. a little bit more of that than normal Canadians like obviously I'm I'm a little yeah. more American than Canadians in terms of that aspect yeah. uh, maybe in the middle but I think that that is one of the reasons why specifically here it's even they're, more yeah. necessary because they're it, it, uh, Americans they have to the self it, and you know it's in a very individualized yeah, yeah, yeah. place and the self is very important and then you very, need yeah. you need something to balance that out because we left we left Europe because you're like we're not following these rules and there's too much religious oppression we're out yeah, that's how this country started. Yeah, so like, they're like, we're not doing that. Get your anymore. hand out of my pocket, pal. Yeah, so you go. We're gonna go over here and then raise taxes actually higher than they were. Way higher. Way <laughs> higher. Way higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you go, hey, I'm not like the idea of like guns. They're like, we're taking all the guns. They're like, doesn't matter how much information you get. You're like, no. This is my. Yeah. Americans are like that. I have that conversation with my dad. This a lot. is my. It doesn't matter. You could be like, hey. It's best for the group if we all they this place started because they go screw y'all we're number one. It's a one. value. That's the only value. No, I know when I talk to people in my family, but my dad's very much like he's like he'll his opinion is kind of like they're all crazy over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I mean very, yeah, that's true. But. It's a bit true, but like 100%. it's it's kind of that thing where I was saying about you know when you're watching an artist and you go they connect with so many people like yeah. trying to you know you could just watch you know Taylor Swift and just be like. Why does anyone like this? Yeah, yeah but then yeah. you could also understand why. Oh, I think yeah, that yeah. a lot of people look at America and they think like they're all crazy. But you're like, oh, yeah. well, why are they? You know, why? Yeah. yeah, why? If you look under, it's not. It's actually rational. It's just it a different a value sense. system. Yeah. Like an, uh, Sean Ryan, who I was on his podcast, who is a, he went over to he like served in the military, was in Iraq for like forever, and he goes, we we were never converting them to democracy. Well, that's, that's an understatement. That, that, he goes, yeah, he goes, they, they, that's not, it's impossible. It's an impossibility. Like the people of like, uh, like the Chinese cultures, like they don't, it's, it's ingrained for so many generations that they're not even, that's not even, yeah, I agree. That you go, hey, I'm going to start my own business and I'm going to just screw everything I learned before. I'm going out on my own and I'm going to make it. It's like a very Western. You're like, hey, we're gonna give you the power to vote in your own elections, and you, the, the, the people don't even. I've had that thought not a even lot. Close in terms of like geopolitics, because people in here 
and everywhere, but m mostly Western places. We have so many conversations about like, what's the best way. Yeah. And they're like, oh, they just need to know this is the best way. And yeah. it's, you're like, you're free. But it's also like, think about your, pr your friend of yours. Right. Yeah. And you're just like, Hey, what's the best way to help them? And you're like, well, who is he? Yeah. What's the situation? And what are the things that what's he thinks? What's his value system? Yeah. yeah. Like you kind of need to you so know, if, know a lot if of you things. just try to like, are yeah, what? Yeah. Yeah. You're just trying to like jam horn yeah. it in. It'll just it it can have the opposite effect. Yeah, you, you kind of need the the right amount for the right a culture that already exists. Like maybe like because he did say he goes we did liberate, uh, but when we left, like women could like dress more how they wanted and they were free. Yeah, I mean, we killed their husbands. Did, so yeah, but we did we did we did. <laughs> he's like we did help evil. We overcame evil, but we're not we're never gonna make them the democracy. It would be impossible because they're not like that generationally it can change yes i agree agree yeah slowly but, I, but slowly and generationally we should look up the um like we have like uh zero dark 30 or like captain america these are all very american themed but we should watch like chinese movies about how we're the bad guy have you watched them i'm sure they have to exist this is a stupid question everybody doesn't watch our movies do they yes everybody everywhere most places, yeah. No, but you look up like the Beijing movie theater. There's places where they're banned, but American what's, movies are popular everywhere. Yeah. What's playing in like a in like a Hong Kong movie? No, theater? this is the only place in the world that the movies are watched everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, and every now and then one of theirs gets over here. Yeah, like the subtitles uh, are really like it has to be through. huge, right? Like the Slumdog Millionaire was that us or that? I would. Did we make that. Imagine that was a, an American movie, but I'm. A, you know, yeah, to, yeah. I look over at him like, look it up. He's like, I don't do that here. I did, in my podcast, I look over to the guy. He's like, I'm not the look up guy. He's looking it up. He's like, I'm not Jamie <laughs> from the Rogan. I'm like, it's a British. Okay, yeah, all right. So, so it not, is a Western movie. Yeah, but it wasn't yeah. Indian. It wasn't, they didn't make it. I'm trying to think of a movie. What's a Chinese movie? Uh, do you, are you familiar with Hong Na Wang Na? No, okay. <laughs> that it was made, that it was made, oh, um, Tokyo Drift. Is that no? Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, dude. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you, Ying Diesel. Yeah. <laughs> if in 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 India, well, Bali, they got big movies over there. Indian movies. That's big, well. There's right? that movie star. I forget his name, it's which goes to show like it doesn't even stick with me. Dude. Yeah. My friend was arguing with me very aggressively that he's the biggest movie star in the world. <laughs> uh, can you find the guy's name? Oh, uh, in the world. Oh, just oh, type oh, in like, biggest Indian movie star. He, oh yeah, yeah. Chaka Khan. Okay. And he's the biggest in the world. He he's not. Okay. But he was arguing. Uh, I was. But they, yeah, yeah, they'll yeah. argue. So. Yeah. What? Shah Rukh Khan. Shah Rukh. Okay. So if you if, if you go to like in Toronto, I'm sure in New York, like you can find those movies playing. Okay. Like he's he's the rock times a million there. Like the biggest okay. difference is in America and the Western world, like movie stars are a big deal. Huge. Yeah. There he's a god. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's like he's like like Ronaldo. Yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But probably one higher, but yeah. like yes, the way that Ronaldo is Why would he ever come here? Well he stay over there. Don't you come here and nobody knows. You stay he, or you're the king. I think he does. He, he does. He does come to Hollywood, and you know, other people will uh, kind of. You know, I think he's done an interview where he said something like, "He's this, like waiting in the waiting room for like his name to be called," and you're like, "Dude, <laughs> well, someone that's Indian will see him, and they'll be Holy, like, yeah, yeah, are yeah, you yeah. kidding me?'" And everyone yeah. else is like, "Excuse me." <laughs> yeah, uh, that's like my like a girl that's like a a six. I go, dude, if you go to like. Auburn. <laughs> exactly. If yeah. you go to a community college, you'll be or a bar where everyone's drunk. <laughs> you'll be a ten. Or lacrosse. Go to a lacrosse party. <laughs> yeah, if you're Stay like there. a girl that's like obese or whatever, you're, and you're no, just like, listen, okay, yeah, go yeah, to yeah, Harlem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I promise. <laughs> you can't make that joke on my podcast. <laughs> Wait. It's a New York joke. Oh yeah. It's good. All right. I was gonna ask you one thing about comedy. Okay, yeah, ask me the comedy thing. Okay. But yeah, anyways, it is different. Well, okay. So, do you feel that with comics and podcasting that since everything, since Cat Williams went on Club Shay Shay and, and put out all of those comics by name, that now, that do you think people are starting to do that now? That's a black community thing. So, 
the white community had the like sort Dude, of like white that's culture. Why you said that because I was like, I can never. I was like, what's with the black community? putting everybody out well there's a couple things this is one the just like we've been talking about all we don't know why it, it makes sense to them yeah well i know i can i can sort of rationalize this okay let's hear it as well, we, we've been speaking on behalf of a lot of other groups so let's continue yes. <laughs> that's what i do yeah. <laughs> all right why well okay so two parts three two or three things are happening simultaneously one is that Everyone was fighting in different groups. You know, there was a very left, big left, right divide. Then there was kind of authoritarian, you know, non authoritarian. In the black community or everywhere? Everywhere. Okay, everybody's fighting. Everybody's fighting, okay, right? Yeah. Left, right. A lot of people yep. sort of, you know, staked their side on different things. Okay. That stuff started to melt away the farther we got from Trump and the farther oh, yeah, the culture yeah, yeah. wars have sort of been in the. There's and been sort of a more agreement among the like normal human community on like and some the, basic things. And these right? people went extreme and now they're just not. I'm saying yeah, yeah. that most people sort of went. Uh, people that may have went crazy are kind of more normal now. Yeah, okay. People yeah. are kind of back to normal. Yeah. Okay. So they're like, I people, wish I wouldn't have said all that. But stuff people have mind. that is correct. But people have a lust for that attention, those views, those, uh, you know, things go through waves, right? Like you're not going to oh, yeah. it's you, the person that needs to big the bigger rush. Right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 what yeah. happens after the era yeah. where everyone's fighting and, you know, kind of representing ideas. sides, they're fighting ideas. Well, yeah. what happens next is drama. So essentially, yeah, yeah, yeah. you kind of always what always comes after is those die down. Look at a community. Like, look at the liberals or look, look at the conservative, look at their like commentator space. Yeah. What happens once that people stop caring about that little, they start fighting each other. Like, they start fighting each other. They start fighting yeah, each other because yeah. that's how they can sort of drum up views it's and controversy. It, yeah, on the right. internet. Yeah. Okay. So you kind of, you can, I bet you you'd notice. Wow. I bet you if you looked on the internet, like Google searches of like Trump and Trump, yeah, like yeah, it, yeah. Trump hate. Yeah. I bet you that directly corresponds with expose videos. <laughs> Gosh, dude. Yeah. yeah I yeah. bet you there's a direct correlation. Well, so you yeah. kind of look at YouTube space is all, even like the fitness guy, it's, I think this guy's doing steroids. This guy's a liar. Yeah. This guy, it's and all. It's going to get views. Exposes get views. Taking people down starts to, Can instead of taking down ideas now, people are taking down just a guy, right? Yeah. And, and that would have been if in 2020, that podcast would have been, whoa, dude, we got bigger things. We're, we're focused on. 100%. The, the movement. Yeah. Right. Or the, or all the movements. Right. And now that's all kind of. So that's the first part. The second part, in my opinion, this is okay. my analysis. Yeah. The second part in my analysis was that there was a big reckoning of like, you know, celebrities and comedians and artists getting taken down and dudes and all yeah, that stuff, yeah, obviously, yeah. Right? right? What people would call cancel culture. Yeah. The Some black version it. of that is that they're gay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? The, Dude, look at every rapper, like every oh, rapper, every dang. comedian, like the accusation is not like they beat their wife. The accusation is that they're gay. And that's what like sticks, right? Have you ever discussed this? Discuss uh, this on your pod? I don't, I think I've talked about the, in terms of when, in when the, he did, when Cat Williams did his first interview. Yeah, yeah. The indictment is that he's gay. Yeah. Because none of the other stuff, you can't say this guy cheated on his wife. Like he cheat on his wife. Usher, would never stick. It's the, the, but that would never be an indictment in the white community. Well, yeah, I mean, if someone was like a big accusation when I was, that I was not gay, it'd be like, okay, I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know it what I mean? be like, all right. <laughs> it would just wouldn't really matter. So I think that that is kind of like because it's just such a hyper masculine culture yeah. that like being gay because that that was a lot of what's the, the ultimate hypocrisy too right a lot of the a lot of the Cat Williams stuff with with Ricky Smiley or with with. Uh, that he was wearing women's clothes, or he was that he was gay. Every white comedian also wore a dress. <laughs> no, hundred percent. No, dude. <laughs> I wore a dress. I probably, probably, probably worn a woman's That's outfit wild. in a skit in a skit twenty five times. No one said Obviously, a word about you. Well, Hollywood called me and said, "This is what's happening," and oh, yeah, they said, "Yeah, I'll yeah. put it." On. It was like you know, no one, no one mentioned it. Never. <laughs> what famous white comedian That's hasn't wild. worn a dress? And the, I and get you know some some people do. Uh, argue with me a lot online if I say stuff like this because they'll because I'm because they'll be like uh, oh you don't know Hollywood is making them yeah, wear a dress yeah, so I go yeah. I don't know I know everyone I know has put on a dress and it wasn't there was no gun to our head we thought it was Never. funny yeah we thought it was I funny. mean listen if you Still have the do. and the bigger the black or the guy the funnier it is to put on a dress yes dude like uh, uh Medea there might be something Hilarious. to be said about the person who says no 
and they Tyler go, Perry, we yeah. can't control that guy. Yeah. There might be something to be said about Maybe. that where they go, you know, if you're like, hey, we have this idea. We Maybe. want you to do this. And the yeah. guy's like, I would never do that. You go, okay, I like someone that doesn't have boundaries. Yeah, yeah, I can little, control sure. a little more. I think there's yeah. something to be said there. I don't know if it's uh, as centralized nobody, and yeah, nobody, conspiratorial. Nobody. I never heard of the, the, the accusations, the gay accusations. Yeah, so I think the expose being the primary way said, to get views yeah. and the gay being their like primary me too that sticks those combined to it being like the juiciest thing that's the yeah yeah that's where like if you said p diddy was like hooking up with a bunch of girls you'd be like it wouldn't make the it wouldn't make the internet they wouldn't even make the internet It'd be on no jumper for four seconds and people would say like <laughs> okay that, what yeah so those that's more salacious more salacious but have you seen what makes me nervous is Cat has been at the top of the game, at least in terms of ticket sales, for 20 years. Yeah. Not in terms of fame or movies or whatever, but Cat Williams, like... And he's awesome. Cat Williams is so funny. And he's, but, yeah, a lot of, like, comics that, like, hey, if you're an open micer, it's probably best you'd be starting to get along with some people. <laughs> you can, don't like because well, I've seen other comics like try to go. I go, hey, 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 hey. That, you, That's such you a can good do point. that. You you need to be That's making such friends. A John Chris, nice way to put it. You need like, to be making friends. Yeah, you're trying to cancel everyone and, and uh, you put be, all these videos. Be you like, need to be reposting people. Y'all best be getting people. along with some people. <laughs> you need to go to the open mic and be like, this guy's killing. You need to because remember, <laughs> there was that black comic and that white girl. That it was that big thing in, in the San Francisco improv or whatever that they was like, so they were both crushing each other. I go, neither one of y'all selling tickets. I've said this, this to is so not, many people this is when not they're starting the time. Out. What are you doing? What do you do? <laughs> like having like riffs, like a comedy riff, like it's the most short sighted, like mentally unhinged behavior. Like Jeff Dunham, who's the guy that does like the like the yeah, puppets. I know Jeff Dunham, yeah. And like Louis C.K., they both do arenas. They're probably like. What's up, dude? How you doing? Good to see sure. you. Sure. They're not battling. They know how hard it is to get there. Yeah. And they go, if you ask him privately, yeah, yeah, yeah. he probably that's like. That's a good point. He's probably like, that's not my thing. But if you ask Jerry, Larry the Cable Guy. I mean, that's what Bill Burr was eventually like. Everyone's shitting on Carrot Top. Like, leave him alone. He guy yeah, does his yeah. thing. He sells out things. And he's makes been laugh. selling the Luxor for 20 years. But, you are, but the point that I think uh, was in there that's even like. Uh, worth like reiterating in my opinion is like it's p people that do it for real know how hard it is mm -hmm. and when you know how hard it is you have like some level of respect i think with yeah. any field you know what i mean and you know how much like if you see like dude he sold that place out good for him yeah good for him i'm trying to sell that place out so it doesn't look good for me to it's same with like a lot of like um it's huge in christianity now a lot of people have like left Christianity and then they trash and their, they know it really well. So they're good. And they know to do it. their perfect position to do it. I go, dude, just say like I gave 15 years of my life to a tr an institution that the ROI. That's never, a lot of ask, a lot to ask at the comedy community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that kind of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What if you say, hey, leave the church alone? Yeah. No, not to leave Keep the church. Keep the church's alone. name hey, out your mouth. Out your mouth. That's the title of this podcast. <laughs> no, I'm no, not the comics in the in the church community, but you say like, hey, like it, your videos, especially I think you've talked about this because you have actually been demonetized or at least shadow banned, and you know that, versus like People on Instagram, they're like, I'm getting like, like, you think Elon Musk is trying to silence you? They, like, Some people, for it's, sure. <laughs> it's, it's your act. It's not, it's not that no one's trying to stop you. Like, you've, you've had... What it you, is so much harder for people to play victim in the internet age. Like, obviously, yes, there are some people that are, you know, exceptions. But, like, yep. for the most part, it was so much easier before to be like... I'm the best. Comedy Central doesn't see that. I'm yeah, the best. Yeah, yeah. I should be on that showcase. Yeah. It's working against me. They it is so everybody. much harder to be like, yeah. the algorithm is showing these people and every one of them is wrong <laughs> that doesn't like it. <laughs> and they should be showing me. <laughs> and even, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot harder on Absolutely. every platform. Yeah. I'm getting screwed on every single like, one. It, it, like, the, the, like, if you were like, this is unfortunately the truth and I'll tell everybody this. Hey, if you had an 
if you posted an undeniable bit or sketch, you would be on the Tonight Show tomorrow. And then can you go do it 300 more times? Yeah. You would be you're like, oh, I live in whatever or I'm anything. They don't see. If you made something of note. And this is not even common. And if you got to the point, you wouldn't even want, care about the Tonight Show anymore. No, or like if you were a, a, a preacher or a, a artist, if you did something that was unbelievable, that connected with people in a way, we, you would be popular tomorrow. Like you know the, the Oliver Anthony, the guy, the red hair guy that sung out in the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's everywhere, he posted a song, connected with people. I think some people in art. Yeah. Um, forget. I think music we understand this a little bit better, but comedy is such a craft that's hard. Mm -hmm. It's a thing, so you become amazing at the thing, and then you forget that like the other part is <laughs> connecting with people, like yeah. saying you know saying something in a way that's never been said before, or a you know kind of uh, you know a type of a type of comedy that's Take never done before. It. Just yeah, finding yeah, a way yeah. that like, you know that thing when you watch, when you go, oh, that's kind of cool. Who's this guy? Like they've- That's how I found that you. That factor where you go, who's this guy? Dang, it's it like, that? Yeah, they and forgot I think, about that. I remember being on stage and kind of like switching from, not switching, but like at some point you're like, okay, I can kind of do this now. And then yeah. there was kind of like, after a while, probably seven, eight years, but kind of being this other thing Thinking where of. you kind of like do something where you're like, Oh, I did, probably didn't even get as much of a laugh, but I like you could feel the people in the audience being like, "Oh," and and then you're like oh, chasing. Yeah, 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 you yeah, want to yeah, chase yeah. like both of those things. Like you yep. want to chase like g just getting better at what you're doing, but yeah. also like the have Having, to like provide yeah. some other value in addition. Or like or like like if there's twenty comics at the show tonight, everyone will mer like. What is going to make you want to go up to the box office like, hey, who's that guy in that red shirt? Yes. And give me his Instagram. Like, you, what is that? You know that? what I always realized it with? I had a friend um, uh, in Canada that was like a girl. And she, I remember like we would do these shows with, and it would be like a lot of guys that like crushed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember her having like medium sets. Yeah. And I remember like every girl being like, oh, who's that girl? She was really funny. That's and me kind of being like, I mean, she's probably the worst set on the show. What? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. How? How? What, it, what? You thought that was funny? Yeah. yeah. It was just like, oh, yeah. they don't look at it the way you look at it. They don't no, like, oh, look dude. at that guy had more laughs. They were just like, oh, that thing that fucking girl said was What's so true or whatever. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Or I really liked her personality or whatever. Well, and you want to have, like, like, if they go, hey, let's just go. Because you technically forget about the heart. But it's not, it's, I don't think it's anything that you like calculate, is it? It's just something that you like. No, you have to train your instincts to notice it. Because we're like, think about you uh, with like, like dude, a, yeah. think about yourself on the beach with like a, uh, like a homing beacon. Like a, what's, what's it called? A metal detector. <laughs> a homing beacon. <laughs> metal detector. Yeah. A metal detector yeah. looking for, you know, gold that's the jokes or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You need to also have a second homing beacon that's looking for like something like connectivity. Like a, I would imagine it's over there for some reason and then you can go for, i mean how many yeah, points yeah, have yeah, you yeah. said like you ever had a point that you a think thousand, you ever had a point a that you think's a good point and you yeah. tell like three people and they're just like yeah okay and you're just like you're not listening this is really good that's like sometimes yeah. we're like that with jokes too where you're just like this is funny and no one you know you you think it is and you've yeah. not been able to find right. it no well points are like that too you have something to say and you're like ever like isn't this interesting that this group of people always does this and they're like yeah. i guess and you're just like okay well no one cares how nobody cares <laughs> yeah but Points are like that too. Sometimes think, we think our things are more profound and connect with people and no one gives a shit and you have to just accept <laughs> it is try to figure out why. Do you think it's a better... Do, do you think comedians have like an elevated opinion of like what we do? And it's, if we would all just be like, hey, this is all kind of just very silly and no one know, no one know. Like that's I think everyone has an elevated opinion of what they like, do. We're, like that we're like the comedians like helped the c country through COVID. Or, like, I don't think any of that though. I don't, I don't think that's helpful to think that. No, I don't think it's all, true either. It's also, it's also very silly. I mean, there is a, there is a, like whenever it's like, we're do, like, if it was, I have a body that says, that said kind of, his name was Garrett Jamison. And he said uh, years ago, I think I've said this a couple of times that his quote, but he was like, I think a lot of times comedians like, 
normalize things when they're too crazy. I think yeah. there's some degree of that. That you can, it can kind of help you put context to the world. I mean, I don't even mean on stage though, just humor yeah. in general. Like think, imagine someone's like, imagine like uh, you have a body that's acting like it. really yeah. crazy, right? Yeah. Sometimes just someone being like, that's a lot. Might do that, like yeah. might do more to just like yeah. be okay. I'm not the only one to notice no, that, and it yeah, sort of calms yeah. things down more than so, yeah. someone being like, "This is too much." And you yeah, know what I, I mean. I was on the plane yesterday, and a lady. I was sitting here. A guy was sitting here. A lady couldn't reach her bag and stood up on the chair. Did you kick her legs out and gra- I should have, but and grabbed it. And I was like, "That is why I've never seen that someone." And then they got me and the guy had like a moment. We were like, that's crazy, right? You leaned in. You go, oh, no, cut, not, no, no. No, uh, shoot. <laughs> well, we did have like a, whatever that whatever that is. That's humor. I was like, this is unca- – I can't believe someone just did that. I looked over at another guy. He thought what I thought. And I go, oh, I feel better now. That's it, yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's all it is. If you go – you're stay- I was in, the, in, the, in line at like Krispy Kreme last night, and the girl – was you're in line at Krispy Kreme? I know, dude, I was, that's why I'm staying right there. I know I needed it, and the girl was on a uh, speakerphone, talking on speakerphone. It's my number one drives me crazy. Okay, man. and so you you that's a that's a it drives you crazy. It's my num probably my biggest one. Yes, and all right, so if you looked around and you and other people were like, you go, oh, I feel better. I do feel that. I, I you agree, feel yeah. a lot better. And then when but same with like the internet, you were like. These influencers or these whatever are being so, or these uh, people that take the ice baths. You're like, this seems a little nuts. And then somebody makes a joke about them. You go, okay, yeah. thank you, because I thought that. Well, I think that's why. That's like, all it is. Political movements and comedy are sort of like antithetical to some degree, because if you're running like a movement, yeah, you don't want people to be like. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we had people think move on. They want you to like, no, harness that anger now yeah, and yeah, yeah, be yeah. a soldier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it, it's sort of like the opposite. It undoes it. Yeah. Yeah. Versus all they want to build it and then, you know, grab your gun. And take it from <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> That's all they were speaking of. Yeah. I'm just kidding. What are you going out tonight? No, because I'm I'm uh, we're shooting here. I'm gonna do uh, my show, and then we are going. I'm going to Calgary. I'm actually doing something Let's else here go. first thing in the morning. Then I'm flying oh, yeah. out. So I just got like a crammed thing before I go to, what, f- where, go to where, Calgary. Where can people find you? They catch you on tour. Uh, when does this come out? I don't know. Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. So. Yeah. Calgary, if you're going to come, there's only 100 tickets left, and I'm recording my special. Oh, let's um, go. But I am also, I bet you I, I, you have fans everywhere. But Everywhere, bro. Do you mind if I say all my dates? Say them all. Baltimore, Washington, Boston, Winnipeg, Atlanta, San Diego, Houston, Austin, then New Zealand, and Australia. There's like six places in Australia I'm going. And Dang, the boys dude. cast with Ryan Long as the podcast. Oh, get it where you feel. Uh, you where ever I, gone to, uh, have you ever done no. Europe or Australia? No. I done a I done a couple like military tours in like oh. Kuwait in the Middle East, but they're for America. Interesting. Yeah, it was wild, dude. Is that fun? I was, I don't know, it was incredible. Cool. Yeah, they like comedy over there. Uh, yeah, that's where I, where, that's where I found you. I want military you go tour. No, uh, the <laughs> you I've, on your. Uh, I think somebody said that about CNN and Fox News bit. That was one of the first ones. I was in like, America. this is, and I we should go back to our first DM. We don't have time for it now, but I wonder what. I was like, dude, this is great. As I said, I was like, this is unbelievable. I don't know who you are, but this is, I never heard of you before. This is unbelievable, but I, I've thought about that. No, I always thought it was cool. When I you thought about out. you for a long time. Yeah, I must have reached out, right? I think that's like just what happened. Ago, yeah. Three, four years ago. I was like, this is incredible. My brother. Yeah, and it was around that time. My brother where... Eli sent it to me. Mm. He's saying the Fox News, I go, this is unbelievable. And I go, I think I just, whenever I see something like, um, you know, uh, Josh Jackson, see it. Johnson? Yes, I saw somebody said, and I and I sent him a DM like two weeks ago. I was like, "Hey, dude, this is unbelievable." It's impressive what he does. It's really unbelievable. I I agree. He's an impressive dude. Yeah, and there's 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 like when you see so I tell people on my podcast all the time when you see art that you like or relates to you, you're like, dude, it's not. Now, if you're trying to DM someone to to get a response, that's different. But you're yeah. like, hey, I just want to go on record. If we ever, that this is great. This is cool. Dude. This is yeah. really cool. And if I like, you don't have to. You can respond, or if you like, I read an article in Rolling Stone. Maybe it was it was like in GQ. I got it in the in the airport. I read it, and it was so well written about whatever topic it was. And I go, I, fa- I go, hey, 
you don't know me, but I just want to say that I read your article and I think it was incredible. That's cool to do, yeah. You should do that for everybody. If you, you know like what else is just, just a, do it. You say it. Another just on top of that with um him is some of those Josh? It, yeah, yeah, kind of a lot of things that you realize too. He cuz he's putting out these like 10 minute clips like every, you know, week, right? Yeah, yeah. And so much of uh art is like this where he was doing that on the Trevor Noah show and he was doing that these other places yeah, 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 for yeah. years really? and then he just started he was kind of like I'm just gonna do what I've been this skill that I've been like silently like honing in the yeah, darkness yeah. I always think of that like even when I started doing like the satire videos it's like I did that like seven other places for years, years before I did it on years. my channel yeah, so yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. so did I so yes did I. you know what I mean I've you been kind of Christian jokes since I was in high school yeah right? and you kind of like you just work on this little thing and it takes yeah. so long till it's actually decent and then sometimes when a guy seems like he comes out of nowhere you're like he was doing that over there he's figured out for yeah. 10 years yeah like even like Louis CK when he became like the big screen in the world like he was like the head writer on all these shows and he was yeah, he's, so yeah. many people that kind of oh, seem he's, he's been writing on all kinds of yeah, shows so many forever. making yeah so many people that seem random you're just like you know or like even like a bruno mars or something yeah, like yeah, that yeah. you're just like no he was this like songwriter that was writing everyone else's songs oh yeah there's yeah, all these yeah. people like that where it's interesting that uh sometimes it helps to be able to i think that probably new people sometimes right now they're just like yeah. too out there and everyone watching them out and probably yeah. not great for but they're them. gonna keep like if you keep tweaking it and keep tweaking it and then you go that's hilarious. You're like, why is that? Or like, I remember when I moved to LA. I moved to LA because I was trying to get on TV, and they go, "Hey, you got to get rid of all these Christian jokes. Like, it's not." They almost ironed out what was the, interesting yeah, about and, you. And, I, and then I started making these dumb videos, and everybody was like, "This is awesome." And then they were like, "You have to stay." I never forget this. My agent goes, "What's it called in in January and February? You have to stay home in LA to go on like the sitcoms." Oh, a pilot, pilot season. Yeah, he's like, you got to stay off the road. And I was like doing these churches that were like 5,000 people. And it was they were like, you got to stay off the road and stay in L.A. to go to these auditions where 13 dudes look mm -hmm. just like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I have no individuality whatsoever. And I go, I'm not doing that, dude. I'm going. I'm glad you thought I'm that. I'm going out there. Dude, I'm so glad that like... I was 25 when I started comedy yeah. and I'd already had this whole like either career and entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah So yeah, I yeah. really came into this with the idea that like those people don't know what they're talking they don't about. They know what they're talking about. Which yeah, I think yeah, yeah. it's so many people and think that just everyone that's older and has more money just has the They'll, best yeah, advice yeah. for you. <laughs> and they do, and you're, yeah, everybody else. Well, like, they have the advice to just do the thing that everyone else would, is doing. They know how to me, tell, yeah. put you into yeah. the mix. If you would ask me how to do stand up, like somebody goes, dude. Uh, somebody sends me a clip. I want to come open for you. I was like, it's great. I go, talk to me in a year or like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Gonna, it's so, it takes so many things to do this. <laughs> yeah. It's like it, somebody comes to open mic night crushes. They're like, yeah, we'll see you next week. It, it <laughs> forever, forever, dude. It just takes four. And if you're not and like, you just a, keep doing it forever. Yeah. If you're not obsessed with doing it, that's what I like about you. Like, I like all the stuff that you make and you put online. Cause you're like, I don't gather I gather that you like to make that. Yeah, I like making videos. So do I. Yeah. And you can tell I the like people, making videos. I like having a new joke. You can tell the people kind of that the, like, don't. You can tell the people that don't the like The only it. real thing I have, like really, that's, that's all it. I do. It's like, yeah, it's like I like I like like making so a I. cool video and I like having a new joke that works. So do, and if I wake up and I have an off day, I was like, let's go make that's a video. That's what it's missing. Let's go make a video. That would be fun. And go on Good Morning America. Both those things. <laughs> Full circle, let's call it. Yeah, Ryan, sure. dude, happy to have you, bro. Let's do it again sometime. The best, dude. You're the man, dude. Thanks for having me. On the, on the, it, it was a positive. It was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. On the net, it's a positive.